And this is the perfect one. God blesses us so that we might bless others. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. God blesses us so that we might bless others. Say, I'm blessed to bless. I'm blessed to ED. I'm blessed to bless. I'm blessed to bless. I'm blessed to bless. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't bless others so you can judge them. So you can see what they're going to do with the way you bless them. Y'all, I saw that video of that prankster. He, he does pranks online. He went out somewhere. He had some, a friend with a camera. He went up to a homeless man and gave him $100. Homeless man said, oh, thank you, thank you. How about things? And then he followed him. He said, I want to see what it does with the money. Been all over the news. And he saw him go straight to the liquor store. Went straight to the liquor store. First stop. Came out with big old, like one of those laundry bags full of stuff. Turned around and he started walking. The guy dropped the thing and see. That's what these homeless people do. He saw him go back to a park. My God. The homeless man went up to other homeless yes. people he yes. didn't even yes. know. He ain't give him no bourbon. Jesus. He ain't give him no jack or no rum. Mm -hmm. Pulled out food. Yes. Yes. Started giving it to the people. Yes. Yes. Then went somewhere else. Pulled out more food. Started giving it to the people. Yes. One of the homeless people had a child with him. Gave it. Gave him some food. Yes. The, the prankster went back up to him and said, Hey man. So I, I've been watching you. I've been following you. He said, What? No way. He said, I just want to apologize to you. He says, because I thought, and before you even finished, the homeless man said, you thought I was just going to get it, going to get you some liquor, some alcohol. You thought I was just going to booze it all up. The guy said, yeah. He says, now I'm going to give you another $100. Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless others so that you may not, you know, be able to, to, to make a joke or to be able to now say, oh, I did this, I did this. No, bless others because God blessed you. Right. And when God tells you to bless somebody, yes. it's none of their, yes. none of your business what they do with the blessing. Yes. Yes. Obey God yes. and leave all the consequences yes. to Him. Yes. Yes. It's none of your business. Mind your business. Right. Mind your business. Yes. Like the woman who was caught in the very act of adultery. Yes. And the Bible says that yes. everybody, after the Feast of Tabernacles, everybody went back to their own homes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the lady went out there having sex in public. She was in somebody's house. Yes. She, was, she might have been in her house. Who knows? More to her. It, it take two to tap, y'all. <laughs> Bible says that everybody after the Feast of Tabernacles, they went back to their own homes. Mm -hmm. But how were they able to see mm -hmm. what was going on in somebody else's habitation? Yes. Yes. If they were supposed to be in their house, right. they weren't minding their business. That's right. That's right. That's right. So they tried to put her out there in the center. To make her the center instead of Jesus. And because of a dangerous thing. Do we put anything in the center other than Jesus? Nobody wanted to say I was peeking through the window. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. You're blessed to bless. Don't worry about what they're going to do with the blessing. Don't worry about it if they're, if they're not going to be grateful. Who cares? They may not say thank you. God's grace is sufficient for you. They may not applaud you and pat you on the back and send you a note. Send yourself a note. Say in God's grace. Amen. You're blessed to bless. 13.